These Contigo auto spout bottles with the pop-up lid and the drinking straw are great. My kids absolutely love them. However, one of the problems with them is that a lot of mold can begin to grow inside the spout here, down in here, actually underneath the lid between these two parts and on the bottom. Or you could have issues sometimes with the button not popping out or issues with it staying down. So it's important to know how to pull it apart to clean it regularly or how to fix it. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. In order to do this, you're going to need a pair of pliers. You're going to want to have a small screwdriver and you're also going to need a small TriStar or triangle screwdriver. I purchased this kit off Amazon because it's got the triangle screwdrivers, as you can see, 2.0, 2.3, etc. But for the Contigo bottle, you actually need smaller than 2.0, I think 1.8. So I'll leave links to a screwdriver kit that contains the right triangle one in the description down below. However, this TriStar 2.0 did work. So luckily, I didn't have to buy a second kit. You're also going to want a bowl to put all your items in and you might want a butter knife as well. To pull apart this lid, start by taking the straw off. So you just unscrew it and that comes off just fine. Then if we pop up the lid, inside here you can see those two triangle screws. The first thing we wanna do is undo those screws. Once we have those screws undone, we wanna go ahead and separate the top part from the bottom part. However, it won't just come off. There's actually two tabs here, just to the right of the locking mechanism, and the same two tabs over this side. So to get it out, just use a butter knife or small screwdriver, get under there and push up. Can be quite difficult, but then it should just come away. Next, we wanna pull apart this little push button, which extends back there, as well as the locking mechanism, so we don't lose these parts. Now with this push button, be careful because underneath there's a little spring, which you can easily lose. And the same with the back part here, there's a little spring, which you can easily lose. Next, we wanna push this piece of rubber through the center and it will pop out like that. And we also wanna take out this air valve. To do this, I just get my fingers under it and pull out pretty hard. Here we also want to remove the rubber gasket as a lot of mold can grow in there. So with our butter knife, you just want to kind of pop it out. Be careful not to break it, but it should come out and then you can grab it and pull it out all the way to wash it. Lastly is pulling apart the nipple or drinking spout. This I found to be the hardest part of the whole process. This bottom part just pulls out like so. However, this part I found very difficult to get out. As you can see, there's tabs like this on the side that you need to pry out. But I found in order to get it out, I can't pry out this section here. So you have to go for the taller section up here to get it out. If we've got it pointing this way with the bottom pointing upwards, I found the left side easier to pop out than the right side. Once you get it apart a bit, then go for the other side. Honestly, I absolutely hate this part of the process. It took me a few goes, but I finally got it. And then you can pull it apart and that will come out. Then you can go ahead and pull out this rubber spout. Now you can go ahead and give everything a good clean. I like to soak everything in vinegar in order to kill the mold. And then I'll go ahead and I'll get in there with a bottle brush as well as a straw brush. To get into all these little sections, make sure everything is clean. I'll link to this bottle brush set down in the description below. Once you've soaked it, cleaned it, got rid of all the mold and then left it to completely dry, you can reassemble it. The reassembly process is a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and start with our spout. So we've got these two bits. This is where it folds over and clips in. So where you have, I guess, the fatter end of the spout, which is where your bottom lip will go, you want it on the opposite end to this. So go ahead and put that in. Now we need to put in this bottom bit and it can push in like that. You wanna push it in beforehand, otherwise you cannot have suction if these two don't end up connecting properly. It can be confusing which way it goes because it fits both ways. But basically you want it to be, so when this is in the lid standing up, this is pointing towards you with the bottom lip here. So if you have it the wrong way, when it's standing up, the bottom part of the spout will point upwards and that's incorrect. So we flip that around 
Now we can see the bottom spout points downwards, which is good. Once that's in place, we can go ahead and put the other piece of the cap on top and click it into place. Now, before we put this spout back on the lid, I actually find it easier to put this section on first, which is the button at the front. Make sure that you've got the spring on it already. Then go ahead and put the spring in first to compress the spring. And these arms need to get over the top of these two pieces here. Once you've done that, we can now go ahead and put our spout in. To do this, I like to put my pliers through the bottom, then grab onto the spout with my pliers and pull it through. Can be a little bit tricky to get it all the way up over the bottom, but just use your pliers in order to do it. That's now in place. You wanna make sure that this spout is pointing in the right direction, because if it's pointing the wrong way around, it's not going to work. So again, we want our spout pointing upwards towards our mouth. That way, when we lock it and fold it over, this cuts it off and no water can leak through it. So just make sure it's pointing in the right direction. If it isn't, you can go ahead and grab the bottom here and twist it. It will turn a little bit. You can see it's on a bit of an angle now, so let's just move it back. Now that we've got this lined up, we wanna go ahead and put in our air valve before we add the other piece on. So air valve, just make sure the little pointy bit goes right in the center of that circle there. If you push hard with your thumb, sometimes it pops all the way through or well, sometimes you need to grab it with your pliers and pull it through. So you just wanna make sure that it's all the way through so that it's not gonna come out anymore. Okay, once the air valve's in, we can go ahead and put on the back end of the button mechanism. So we wanna make sure that this little ramp is pointing upwards. We go ahead and put that in spring first. And we just wanna make sure that these two parts line up. So when you push the button, it moves. If it's a bit too high and not lined up, you'll see that as I push the button, it's no longer moving. And this can sometimes cause errors where this spout won't pop up anymore because this has become misaligned. So just make sure they're aligned. And when you press it, everything moves, everything bounces back. Also, don't forget to put in the little locking mechanism. So that can just push in here. And you can see that that can now slide backwards and forwards. One of the last things we need to do is put the top of the lid back on. So go ahead, put it on an angle, get it over there. And then we wanna line everything up and click it back on. You should hear a click and it should be pretty stuck on now and make sure that your spout is working properly. Test it before you put the screws back in. Everything looks pretty good to me. We do need to put on this rubber gasket as well. To do that, just line everything up and then you can just lightly push it in with your fingers, working your way around, just making sure that it doesn't twist at all. You don't have to push it in too hard because once you put the lid on your bottle, it's gonna push it in anyway. But you don't want it to be twisted. You don't want any parts sticking out. And then last but not least, we need to put the little screws back in. It can be quite difficult to line them up, so I use pliers. And then go ahead and screw them in. Actually, you could probably leave out those triangle screws to make it easy to pull apart next time because of the tabs that are on the side here, the top shouldn't actually come off. So you could leave those out to make your life easier for next time. Go ahead now, put the straw back on, put your lid back in your bottle and you're now good to go.